Hey guys, welcome to Into the Night. Today I'm just trying to make up a few cables for so I can tie my dingo traps to a tree or a branch or something if rather than staking them if they've got the opportunity to do so. So I'm just going to show you how, I, how I'm going to go about it. I've already made one eye in this cable. This is a bit of stainless cable. I probably galvanised would be better but this is all I had, all that I could get in town and I'd probably would have preferred a little bit thinner but this is what I've got so I'm just going to show you how I made a little splice and eye like that into the end of the cable. Okay so I've made that cut one already and I'll just put on a bit of heat shrink over them so they just makes it look a bit tidier. Here's one I've done earlier. I might see if I can get it a little bit neater than that, but there's different ways. A couple of different ways. This is one I learned to do first. It comes through and sp spirals round. It actually goes past and back onto itself. Just sort of in a very strong loop. It's about 90% strength of the cable so but it, you kind of need a bit of heat shrink or something over there just to tidy that up I'm going to try and do some more like that so it looks a little bit more tidy and I'll show you how I do that one there so I'll get three of these strands the little cables off of there it's two Grab the next one. Like three little individual cables. Make sure they stay twisted. Just sort of you're halving it pretty much. There's six strands plus a core in this. So you just leave the core in one. I usually unwrap about oh, about that much. Maybe one more. Oh. Just for reference, it's about about a hundred mil for four inches. I get the one with the core in, and I bend it over so it's just past, just past there where it matches up with that one. So you always go wrapping it. This is right hand, got a right hand twist on it. So you always come back and you wrap it right hand on this back onto itself wrapping it around this one so you just make it through but you gotta try not to kink it if it kinks it won't spiral around so much no just make sure it's all seated back into itself there tip through and Last one, get the tip through there. There you go. That should be spliced. Good splice on there. If I come over here, I'll get a bit of the heat shrink on. Slide it up just to stop those little tails from catching on anything. I'll have to boil these up and get the oil off them first and before I use them. My trusty little burner, <laughs> AK-47. My brother-in-law got that from Russia for me. There you go. There's two ends spliced together. Two eyes. Looks a little bit neater like that than it does with this one here I've done. That one's got a 
funny tile on there. You could put a bit of heat shrink over that and then look a bit better too, but I did that with one of them on the other end and I forgot to put the heat shrink on the cable before I did the eye, so you have to undo the undo the eye. You can undo them again and start again if you make a mistake. That should should work. You can just put that around a tree and put a D shackle or something onto your trap chain under there and they won't be able to break that like I said before ideally I would have liked to get a little bit thinner cable not sure what that one is it's probably three mil and it's probably stronger to splice something than it is to use a crimp or a cable clamp just gets it a little bit stronger the clamps can still slip but that's about a 90% cable strength 90% of the cable strength in that eye just spliced like that so the dog is not going to break that well that's how I splice an eye onto the end of a cable I'll try it on a trap one of these days when I can get them find some dogs in the area and I'll start trapping them again but I might have to boil them up and get rid of the oil and maybe dye them a bit so they're not so shiny as well. That'll work. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you on the next one.